You've probably heard of artists like Jackson Pollock, Giorgio O'Keefe and even Grant Wood. But now an exhibition at London's Royal Academy is pushing other artists of that same 1930s era into the spotlight. Bell Lupton has more. The search for a new national identity, wrapped up in experiments with artistic expression. This is the art of the Great Depression. This is the story of America's 1930s, told in just 45 works of art. It's a story imbued with satire. We see a great deal of uh, satire at the beginning of the 30s. Um, industrial and industrial subjects. Some of them were commissioned by Fortune magazine to make business look better or feel better. By the end of the decade, as the country draws out of the depression but is going into World War II, you get more topics that are dealing with um, subjects happening in Europe. The Wall Street crash took place in 1929, unleashing the most severe economic downturn of any Western country in modern history. Farmers were especially hit, as crop prices plummeted and a drought hit the middle of the country. America was still segregated, and the art reflects the tension between a vision of inclusion and the reality of racial violence. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, the spectre of fascism was solidifying. The march towards World War II had started, a fight the US would join in 1941. Banks failing, financial crisis, widespread unemployment, rising population, immigration and racial tension, discontent, disillusionment. Hang on, doesn't that all sound rather familiar? So the idea of this show I generated five years ago, and it had more to do with looking at the financial crisis of 2008 and wondering about the parallels to the financial crisis of the 1930s. In the 30s, you had both the rise of communism and the rise of fascism. I think that's happening again. There was a, there was a four-fold rise in the number of lynchings between 1930 and 1932. And these things happen when people are are fighting for jobs and there's economic competition, racial hatred, xenophobia. The 30s was full of it. This show tells the story of how, when America hit rock bottom, its artists helped rebuild a country. From lesser known names to the likes of Jackson Pollock and Georgia O'Keeffe, artists made the American dream again. Belle Lupton, TRT World, London.